Okay, so this is my video review of Animated Jazz. Um, I'm not going to go over too much details of the packaging, um, other than the, the sticker up here at the top. Um, basically advertising the uh, DVD coming out soon. Um, I actually got this figure early, I didn't find it in the store, so I got it off uh, the internet. Uh, Amazon in particular, I think. Um, just the back. So yeah. I'm gonna open them up and continue from here. Okay, so um, here's Jazz out of the packaging. Um, I'm gonna give the packaging a, I give it about a 8.5. Um, it does waste a little more space than uh, Optimus, uh, Deluxe Optimus and Prowl. So, uh, you know, it does have some empty spots like right there. So I'm gonna give it a, about an 8.5. Okay, as for the vehicle. You can see. Um, really nice detail. Now there are the, uh, the nunchucks. Oh, in the front. Um, it's got translucent uh, green in the front. And it's got the uh, elite symbol. Elite guard back. Uh, that's a very like like thick dark red I guess. Um, but it's really nice. It, it looks like a real uh, like the lights are really on even though it's just paint. Um, that's, I think that's pretty cool. Um, these things right here are um, sort of like futuristic um, uh, side mirrors. Uh, the uh, I believe the windows have some kind of layer of plastic that's painted black over them. I don't think they're actually part of the, uh, the mold. Um, so yeah, I like the little uh, G1-ish uh, stripes going down the, the front. The overall, it looks like a G1 um, uh, Jazz. By the way, Jazz is uh, probably, next to Optimus, my favorite uh, Transformer overall. Um, in the animated line, I'd say my favorite Transformer is probably Prowl, but uh, Jazz is still pretty sweet in the uh, cartoon. It does have a little problem rolling at first. Um, mine didn't roll at all on the front top, front two tires. You just have to kind of mess with it to get him to roll. Um, it doesn't take too long, maybe like four minutes. Um, so yeah, that's, in my opinion, the really only negative about the... Uh, vehicle mode is that you have to sit there and get him to roll if he doesn't already roll. Um, that might be an issue for some people because, you know, it's obvious his robot mode is under there, but, you know, he has a transformer, so I'm not going to count that. Um, very cartoony look, um, but I like the cartoony look. Uh, it's very, uh, very interesting. I would probably give, um, Jazz is a uh, alt mode. A if it wasn't for the fact that he couldn't roll uh, unless you messed with him, he would be a ten in my opinion. Uh, this is an awesome car mode. Um, it's an outstanding car mode. I mean, you really, in my opinion, I really don't see anything wrong with it other than the fact that you have to sit there and mess with him to get him to roll. I mean, he's just an awesome car mode. I'm sure other people will agree. I mean, he's just fantastic. So. Uh, he gets a he gets a nine out of ten for the car mode. You know the cartoony look is um, over exaggerated and stuff, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I'm going to uh, compare him now to uh, Optimus, the Deluxe Optimus. Two great figures, by the way. I would pick them both up. Uh, they're fantastic figures, uh, Transformers wise. Um. They are about the same size. Optimus is taller, but other than that, they are about the same size. I mean, really. They are almost exactly the same size in length. You know. So, yeah. Um, this little booklet came with it. This is, uh, I have two of the other figures, and this didn't come with it, I guess, because this is Wave 2. Um, I'm not going to really note anything other than... Uh, 
if you can see that, that star screen right there, um, he might be the next Transformer I get because I need a, I need an animated Decepticon, and uh, he's always been my favorite Decepticon, so I might get him uh, as my next Transformer. So uh, I'm gonna transform him now, off camera, of course. Um, so I'll be back with a uh, Jazz in robot mode. I don't know if you're supposed to uh, flip those back or not. I think they uh, look cooler that way, so I didn't. That's why I did that. Um, yeah, this is a this is a great robot mode. He stands perfectly because of the uh, the back here. I mean, it's just, he's just an awesome uh, robot mode. I'm just gonna go ahead and rate it right now. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna go over the negatives first. Um, and to tell you the truth, um, I can't really think of. I can't really even think of a negative besides this. Um, I don't know if this locks into place or not. Uh, if someone knows if it does, uh, comment because I don't. I don't know if there's a way to lock it into place. That's the only real negative, in my opinion, about this figure. I mean, otherwise, it has really good articulation. You know, it's a uh, really good sculpt, really good design. Um, it, it, the robot mode is a perfect ten, in my opinion. Um, and it might seem a little high, but this really is a great figure. I mean. Really, it is. Uh, we just want to go over the uh, the uh, the light piping. Get him up here a little bit. If you can see that, you know, light piping is really good on this figure. Um, so yeah. Life is really great. It's a great figure. And on to the size comparison. Um, it is uh, Brother Prowl. <laughs> Not really his brother, but a brother in arms, I guess. So, yeah. Um, Prowl doesn't have any light piping. I don't think I went over that in the last review, but he doesn't have any light piping. It's just a it's basic head. Um, they're both ninjas, they're both masters of, uh, Circuit Sue, but he's an elite guard, um, because of, you know, because of the symbol, uh, he's, uh, he's an elite guard, he, I guess, passed the, uh, training and the course and everything, and, uh, you know, mastered Circuit Sue to a certain degree and became an elite guard. Um, just gonna put Optimus behind him. You know, as, as you know, Optimus would be bigger, but, uh, since he's a deluxe, uh, He's about their size. But the articulation is really good. Um, don't want to go over too much of it because I will be taking up a lot of time on this video probably. But uh, his head is about the only thing that's not super articulated. It's about as up, up as he can look. Uh, you know, he can turn to the side a little bit. He can probably get 360, but I don't want to go over that. Um, coolest thing about him is his wheels go like into his chest piece. Uh, that's that's pretty sweet in my opinion. Um, but uh, so yeah, that is Jazz. Just wanna go over his little nunchuck. Get one of them in the hands. So yeah, that is Jazz. Um, like I said, robot mode uh, gets a 10 in my opinion. Uh, overall, this figure probably gets a gets a nine. Um, packaging, uh, car mode, and everything gets a nine easily. I mean, it could, it could be a ten easily too, but uh, just for review's sake, uh, I'm just gonna go, gonna go ahead and give it a nine. So yeah, if if you get the chance to pick him up, I I seriously would not pass. I would I would definitely get him. It's definitely one of the best animated Transformers so far. Um, I think he would look really awesome fighting uh, Starscream. The animated, uh, animated Starscream. That's my review of Animated Jazz. Um, I'll be reviewing Voyager Optimus Prime here uh, shortly, so look forward to that.